Hello, everybody. Okay, so this is just a little tutorial about how to create your own little mini habitat. And I thought it'd be best that I give you a little video tutorial as well as the Zoom session, just so people who didn't make it have the chance to catch up and also to see how it's done a bit more slowly uh, in case the internet goes. So the idea came from this book, uh, which I found just upstairs in the barn. And um, I just wanted to show you what the key the picture that I found, which inspired me, which is this one here, the hold in your hand little habitat. And so we'll use this as a reference point. And I don't necessarily, I probably won't include, I definitely won't include any of these plastic figures um, in my version of it, but I'll leave that up to you and your creativity and where you want to take this. So let's begin. So I'm going to cut away from my face and I'm going to use this as a little board here. Hopefully you can still hear me well. So what we need for this is a lid, as I described to you before. Here's one which is a little bit thick uh, and clean, uh, at least more or less. And then we'll need this cotton wool buds. So this is actually a fairly large lid. So I've got myself three here, but usually two would be well enough. So to start off, what we do, you could easily use tissue paper. These are just very absorbent, so they're effective. I've cut mine in half, and I've put them back to back. I'm gonna put one just there. I'm gonna do the same for the rest of them. Okay, so in half, put that in there. And you could also just not do this and put them straight in if you'd like to as well. Just see all these little fluffy bits create little bits of um, surface area, which essentially means more space for the little seeds to germinate. Because if we remember correctly, what we need, or what the seeds need to germinate, is a warm, moist, um, and actually usually quite dark space. Um, they actually prefer germinating in dark, which is usually under the soil, and then uh, having light. So now we've got ourselves a little bit of a what you call the soil layer. We're going to put a little bit of water on it. So here I've just got myself a little jar of water and a spoon. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to pour a couple of teaspoons uh, of water on here. For me, it might be three. Uh, for you, it might be a little bit less. And we can always put some more on after. In fact, we we'll definitely put one more teaspoon on when the seeds are on there, at least. I'm just going to dab that on. Make sure most of the cotton wool bud is, or pad is wet. So it just needs to be moist and not drippy. Okay, I'm gonna put that back inside. This is good, so I can turn it upside down and no drips are coming out. That's a good sign. It's just enough water. So I'm gonna pat it down a little bit, make sure it's all clean. Now, what I'd like to do is we'll get our seeds. So you've all got seeds in the little packets I gave you. Now, the seeds you've got are a mixture of different kinds of seeds. Uh, in yours in particular, there'll be some, I've written it down here, there'll be some sunflower, there'll be some alfalfa, um, there might be a couple bits of cress, and there'll definitely be some rye, some, some quite big grasses actually. Now I actually wanted to get you um, some more cress seeds, but they didn't come in the post until after. Um, so if you do have any mustard or cress seeds, do recommend putting those into the mix they're very 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 useful so the next thing to do is with your teaspoon again make sure you've dried it using your little cloth something here that nice and dry so the seeds don't get stuck now you want to get your seeds inside your packet and you want to sprinkle them in fact for me it's actually much easier if I sprinkle mine directly so I'm going to do that so I'm going to sprinkle mine all over here, apart from this area. I want to have a little bit, which is just for the stones. You can do whatever you like for yours. Okay, there's all mine on there. I'm just going to use my finger to pat it down, make sure all the seeds are nicely pressed on there. And I might even put few more of these sunflower seeds on there as well like you guys have 
There we go. Okay, so again, press it all down, nice and cozy. I'm then going to get the water one more time and just dress the top of the seeds. Just a little sprinkling, just so they touch water for the first time themselves as well. There you go. Okay, so next up, we're going to create a little kind of microclimate habitat which is that the terrain of the earth. And so what I've got here, I've got some little pebbles. I've also got these little numbers, which are from uh, a little pine tree uh, or a big pine tree. And this is the little branches and little leaflets. And so what we can do to start off with, is I'm gonna dress inside here. I want to leave the areas where there's lots of seeds to make sure I don't cover them too much. And the ones that don't have much, we can actually then put these nice stones down. Like this. You can do this in any way you want. I'm going to put smaller stones over here just to make sure we have enough room. Okay, something like this. Now I'm going to make sure it's not too high because we're going to put a lid on this. I think that's actually enough stones for me for now. Now, what you would do in this situation is probably put them straight into um, a place to dry, uh, a place to germinate. Well, I'm going to show you what I would do once I had germinated them. I would put these little lovely creatures inside and then create the very first part of this other little mini habitat. So as all the seeds start to germinate up here on this side, you've got this coming through. And even if you wanted to, you could decorate it with a nice shell coming out the side, something like this, or even coming out the back, whatever you like. So before I put these in, just to show you, what I will do is I'm going to put a lid on. Now the key of the lid 